Now we're going to be creating these models and we're going to be hypothesizing a cause and an effect. So your cause will be your sometimes called your exposure variable and the effect is often called the disease variable or the outcome variable because it doesn't really have to be a disease. It can be something good. And so in order for us to begin to think about the model that we'd like to build, we need to be clear about what it is that we're thinking about when we say something is a cause. Okay, so let's think about this. So when you think about a cause, you always have to have a particular population in mind. And so for this example, let's use the population that is represented by the NHANES data, which is the non-institutionalized United States population. So let's think about a, a cause that we all are familiar with. Um, smoking cigarettes causes lung cancer. Well, what would it mean in this framework to say that smoking cigarettes causes lung cancer? Well, to think about a cause, we need to have a particular population in mind. This is true for modeling as well. So for this example, let's use the population that's represented by the NHANES data, the non-institutionalized U.S. population. And so in this upper left-hand corner, let's just draw some people in here. And these circles represent people. And let's just say this, we're these, these circles represent the entire non-institutionalized U.S. population. And the yellow colors mean that they are never smokers. And then let's think about another situation over here, which is that these red circles, these represent people who are lifetime smokers. So we've drawn two situations here, one in which everybody in the United States here on the left is a non-smoker, and one in which everyone in the United States is a lifetime smoker. And let's say that among these, if everyone in the United States population was a lifetime smoker, that the risk of lung cancer among them would be 10%. And let's say that among, if everyone in the United States population was a non-smoker, that the risk of lung cancer would be 2%. So this is the meaning of a cause in the framework that we're using. And it means that if everyone in your population, under the condition of not being exposed, had a different risk of the outcome, compared to if everyone in your population had been exposed, then the exposure is a cause of the effect. And here we have, it's increasing from 2% to 10%. So smoking is indeed causing lung cancer in this population. Now, one of the things to notice here is that the, the cause is not defined for any particular person in the population. It's defined at the population level. So we define the cause, we describe the cause using some kind of population characteristic. In this case, we have an outcome which is um, dichotomous, it's yes or no, you, you have lung cancer or you don't, and so we use a percentage. Now, if we were using some kind of continuous measure, we would probably use an average or a mean value. And if we saw that under the condition of not being exposed, the mean value of the outcome variable you know, maybe it would be like some measure of your lung function or something that's a continuous measure. If the mean value of the outcome was different when people weren't exposed to when people were exposed, then we would say that the, the exposure is actually a cause of the outcome. Okay, now, what do we notice here? The thing is that we never have this kind of experimental data. We never have data where, you know, for example, in the NHANES data, we don't have any situation where everyone in the United States is a non-smoker, and we don't have a situation where everyone in the United States is a smoker. So what do we do? Well, what do we have in the NHANES data? Well, in the NHANES data, we're going to have some kind of situation where some people are non-smokers and some people are smokers. This is what the data are going to look like, right? And so there's a kind of assumption that we're making when we use the NHANES data that these people here, these smokers that we see in the NHANES data, they are representative of what would happen if everyone in the United States was exposed to smoking. And these people here who are non-smokers in the NHANES data, they represent what would be the case if everyone 
in the United States was a non-smoker. So this is called the assumption of exchangeability, and we call it exchangeability because it means that it means that you know we can um, essentially exchange these people, these non-smokers that we actually see, for what we would have seen in these smokers had they been non-smokers, right? And the same thing is we can exchange these smokers here for what we would have seen in these non-smokers had they in fact been smokers, okay? So this may or may not be true, and this is one of the things that we'll think about when we're thinking about uh, interpreting the uncertainty in our results. But um, for, for now, when we're thinking about, you know, how, what kind of model we're going to be um, creating, we're going to be drawing these causal diagrams. They might look like this. This is, you know, smoking is a cause of lung cancer. And so the point here is that what you want to be thinking about when you're drawing this and trying to decide if there's an arrow here is you're thinking about, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're wondering if you can say that smoking is a cause of lung cancer, if you can hypothesize that, the way you should imagine is you should imagine the entire population that you're looking at and you're using NHANES data, so unless you're using some subset, you're probably using the whole non-institutionalized population of the United States. And you th imagine them as uh, smokers, and you think about their uh, the percentage of people who would have lung cancer if everyone in the population was a smoker compared to the percentage of people who would have lung cancer if no one in the population was a smoker. And if you think that those things would be different, then you can say that you hypothesize that smoking is a cause of lung cancer in the population.